Daring Delphinus. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Now that we're well into the summer months, this is a wonderful time to get outside with the family and gaze at the stars. That's right, James. We always encourage our fellow stargazers to enjoy the night sky together with their families and make it a tradition. And the summer sky is rich with star patterns. We always talk about the big constellations like Cygnus, Aquila, and Lyra. However, there's a tiny little constellation in the same part of the sky that you've probably always seen, but never knew its name or its story. That constellation is Delphinus the Dolphin. Let's show you. Okay, we have our sky set up for just after sunset facing east. High in the sky, you can see the familiar pattern of the summer triangle. The brightest star of the group is Vega, and it's near the top of the triangle. Then, down into the right of Vega is the bright star Altair. And down into the left of Vega is Deneb. These three stars will help you find Delphinus the Dolphin. If you draw a line between Deneb and Altair, below it, almost halfway between the two stars, is a small diamond-shaped constellation made up of five stars. If you have trouble seeing it at first, you can use a technique known as averted vision. Simply look at Altair, and in your peripheral vision, you can see the small grouping of stars that make up Delphinus. My favorite story of Delphinus involves a singer and poet named Arian. He was so skilled at playing the harp and had such an amazing singing voice that it made him very popular during the 7th century BC. Arian was so popular that he had performances throughout the Mediterranean. However, one day, on his way home to Greece after a gig in southern Italy, the sailors on his ship conspired against him. They plotted to kill him and take the money he'd earned. Well, that's not very nice. No, it wasn't very nice. Finding himself surrounded, Arian begged the sailors to allow him to sing one last song. Fortunately for Arian, the sailors allowed this, and he performed one of the best songs of his life. While Arian played his harp and sang, his music attracted several dolphins to the ship. They swam alongside the ship as Arian performed, and in a daring leap of faith, Arian threw himself overboard. One of the dolphins rescued Arian and carried him all the way back to Greece, saving his life. In gratitude to the dolphin, Apollo, the god of music and poetry, placed an image of the dolphin in the sky among the stars of the Milky Way, and also placed an image of Arian's harp, Lyra, in the same region. All right, let's see what the planets are doing right now. Okay, we have our sky set up for Monday, August 8th, just after sunset, and we finally have all the naked eye planets and the moon back in the evening sky. Starting near the horizon looking west, you'll see the dazzling planet Venus emerging from the glare of the sun. Just above Venus, you'll see the tiny planet Mercury, and above that, the giant planet Jupiter. Mercury will be easier to spot because Jupiter and Venus, being much brighter, will help you locate dimmer Mercury between them. Then look toward the southwest and you'll see a waxing crescent moon among the stars of Virgo the Maiden. Then if you look due south, you'll see the red planet Mars and the ringed planet Saturn among the stars of Scorpius the Scorpion. During the month of August, you'll see Mars move rather quickly toward the constellation Sagittarius the Centaur Archer. So there you have it, a musician, a dolphin, and a celestial gathering of all the five naked eye planets. Definitely a reason to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.